what's going on? I'm out of jail again. Had to do a quick little month. I'm back. We're talking about this basically. The war on drugs is a war started against brown people and the medicines they use. You know? I'm gonna pour up. You know what time it is, dog. Yeah, war on drugs. I'm gonna speak on drug laws solely in the United States and Mexico. Could be different in the rest of the world. I'm gonna speak on what I know. Because most of the drug laws we have in Mexico and the United States were started because of racial and religious opposition. Let's start. Why was marijuana cannabis originally banned I, I was taking notes in jail so I can do this a little more professional but Mexican immigrants were used as a fear tactic and no pun intended a catalyst to federally ban marijuana you know commercial use of hemp and you know people just look look at all the use hemp has now I believe the paper industry or other things was one of the oppositions you know because they don't want to lose money it's all about money Capitalism is another thing that is the reason behind the drug war. And the drug war is a war lost, and it will always be lost because just like with abortion, just with a bunch of other things, it should be my body, my choice. We're allowed to put nicotine, cigarettes, things with a bunch of chemicals in them, alcohol, prescriptions, food. They all, all probably are worse than a lot of these drugs. But that was likely the cause to ban it, you know ban cannabis money and you know propaganda like reefer madness uh, I forgot the other one was used to further push the agenda and then we had the marijuana tax of 1937 where it's kind of like maybe they I don't know how to explain it a lot but you had to like buy stamps and shit to be able to have marijuana legally this was also just a tool of manip manipulation of immigrants They'd say Mexicans would smoke it and go wild and fight and shit like that. It's fucked up. And I had something else. What was I going to say? You know, the Harrison Drug Act of 1915. I should have went through this first. Where a lot of the modern laws about drugs comes from. That was banning marijuana, cocaine, and the plants. Opium. Heroin, shit like that. You know, cocaine was banned by pushing the propaganda that blacks would use it and go crazy, rape white women. They had jazz clubs in New Orleans. All kinds of fucked up shit. You should go read it. You know, they'd say blacks would go crazy or slaves. I forgot. I don't think maybe it was that early, but yeah. That was a propaganda. And then opium was banned by the agenda that Chinamen, to use an old, you know, non politically correct term, in opiate dens would, would go crazy and then they'd sprinkle some. Communist induendo, oh, they're communists to further propaganda. You know, they had opium dims all through San Francisco. And the first and second opium wars caused China's opium addiction. And now think about it. China produces most of the fentanyl and fentanyl analogs and research chemical opioids that are causing these fatal overdoses in the Western world. Revenge, possibly? Who knows? Because there was wars where Engl the English were just moving so much opium in China. And they had a, it started a fucking epidemic, you can call it. You can maybe even... Go as far as I call it the first opioid epidemic. Even though I hate that word, it's more of a, what we have now is more of a fentanyl and heroin and misrepresentation epidemic. You know, that's really what it is. Let's remember Byers, Bayers, they make aspirin, produce heroin as a al non addictive alternative to morphine. Look how that came out. Just, you know, history repeats itself. The chemists who introduced clandestine fentanyl production did it because of the burdens of being addicted to heroin and he wanted something cheap. And that dude, it was traced back to him from overdose. He died, I believe, in jail, prison, excuse me.
<sighs> Let me light this up again. But you know, they say the Harrison Drug Act was like the first uh, drug laws, and that's a lie. Around 1912 in Mexico, they banned all non-alcohol intoxicants, driving the use of things like peyote, mushroom, salvia, morning glory, datura, DMT-containing plants, underground or hidden in plain sight by intertwining it with Catholic beliefs and imagery. An example is, you know, mushrooms, the Nahuatl name is Del Nanacal. I fucked it up. I'm not too good at pronouncing Nahuatl. You know, flesh of the gods to... Christianize the Evangelize the you know lost lot is lost in translation. And you know, going from Tonanacat to being called say Nino Santos, as Maria Sabine referred to them. You know, intertwined with that Catholicism. And now more in the modern days, LSD MDMA and research chemicals banned as the war on drugs expands to a war on consciousness, because most of these drugs other than a couple RCs are safe. You know, most of the psychedelics affecting the five H T two A serotonin receptors are safe. LSD. It's analogs, MDMA, all this stuff is fairly safe. John Hopkins just opened a research center to um, study mental health benefits of LSD and mushrooms. They got like $17 million all in donations. Shout out y'all, Bitcoin gang. And I believe they did it to keep pharmaceutical companies in business to push, you know, anti-psychotics, SSRIs, SNRIs. Because, you know, what MDMA experience is years of therapy in five hours. I stand by that. And then the drug war also funds the prison industrial complex, keeps it a revolving door. New prisons are always going to be built. California, where I'm from, has the most jails and prisons than I believe anywhere else in the world. It's fucked up, dog. Landed free with the most citizens incarcerated. And prohibition created the misrepresented substance epidemic. Look at prohibition with alcohol, how people were making... You know, shit in their bathtubs and distilling and ghetto shit, and that was causing people to go blind or die. You know, that's what it does. They should learn from that. Because think about it. Synthetic cathinone sold as MDMA, the n benzyl methoxyphenethylamine derivatives, and the DOX substances sold as LSD, fentanyl analogs, sold as heroin, fake Roxy's, fake Perks, fake hydrocodons, fake Xanax, too. And then benzyl analogs being pressed into counterfeit you know xanax 2 pills it's all fucked up and just it's all fucked up man i just want to ramble for a little bit you know i'll be i'll be uh making more videos you know tomando jarabe pero always